welcome. Today we're going to learn how to import Google Ads data to Airtable via Data Fetcher. So when you arrive onto your Airtable base, we'll go over to the right hand corner and look for the word apps. Click on the add an app button, that big blue one, and then search for Data Fetcher. Once this appears, you can select add and then select add app. This will bring you to the following page where you can either create a free data fetcher account or you can simply continue with Google. Fantastic. Now you can import your data so you can create your first request by clicking on this big blue button. And then once you arrive onto the following page, you should give your request a title. So we're going to title this fetch Google ads data so that it's really clear. Then for the application, we are searching for Google Ads, nice and simple. Now you will be prompted to connect your Google Ads account. So simply click on that blue button and it'll prompt you to log in. Once you've done this and you've made that connection between Data Fetcher and your Google Ads account, come back to this step. Fantastic, so you do want to give full access to Data Fetcher. So once you've done that and you've agreed to it, you can simply select continue and now that connection has been made. Now press on the save and continue button in the bottom right hand corner. So now it's time to select the account that you'd like to import data from. So this will be different on yours and the date range as well. So we are going to go for the last 30 days so that we can see what's been going on for the last month of our Google Ads data. Then for the fields, we are going to include impressions, clicks, and CTR. And so for these, you can also search what you're looking for and then select it as well. Fantastic. Now we'd like to split the data into different records based on the date will be one of them. So we can search for that. And so this means that it'll just be categorized into these different sections. So I'd also like to include the campaign name so I'll just search for that. And you can also search for other things like ad group name, if this is relevant to you, or just ad name. It depends on really what your preferences are. As you can see, that's there. Um, but of course, you can choose whichever your preferences are. But for the time being, you can simply leave it with the date and the campaign name. Then you do have the option of filters as well. So you can filter this depending on different conditions that you'd like to filter. So for example, if you would only want to import data from ads that have less than 100 clicks, you would simply choose clicks less than and then input 100 or 1000, whatever you'd like. Um, but like I say, we're going to leave that blank today. Just know that that's an option. And then of course, check your output table and view, but this should automatically be table one and grid view. Then once you've done that, you can simply select save and run in the bottom right hand corner again. And so now we arrive to the response field mapping. So this is where we can choose which fields we'd like to import into our Airtable. But we've already actually chosen these, as you can see. So we want to bring all of these through. If you did want to turn any of these off so that they aren't imported into your Airtable, you can simply turn the toggles from green to gray. But like I say, we can leave this as it is, nice and simple, and then select save and run in the bottom right hand corner and now these fields will be created. Once that's done, we can select show output table and as you can see, we'll arrive and if you scroll over to the right hand side, you'll see all of that data has already been imported. But we can go one step further than this and make these records update automatically without us having to manually recreate these requests. So if you go over to the right hand side, you will see your data fetcher app and you'd like to create this into the full screen mode. So you can simply click there and then it will bring up all of those options that you have already created for this particular request. So if you scroll down, you will see this schedule option. Now this schedule option will only 
only be available to you if you do have a paid data fetcher account. So if you don't yet have that, go ahead and open one up and then return to the step so that you can have these requests running automatically. Then it's really simple. It will prompt you to add your API key, click on that, and then it will link you to your Airtable account to find your API key. So when you click on this, you'll arrive onto your account overview. You can scroll down to the button that says generate API key and copy that API key back over to your Airtable account. So once you've pasted your key into the input box, you can simply select save and you'll see that this automatically turns your schedule this request option on. And this will now repeat every 15 minutes from Monday and you can make this happen every day of the week simply by turning those on all the way from nine till six. And you know that this request is running automatically without you having to do a thing. Then all you have to do is select save in the bottom right hand corner. And as soon as that saves, you can close that window over. So hopefully today you have learned how to import Google Ads data to Airtable via Data Fetcher. But if you do have any questions Questions, you can always reach out to us here at Data Fetcher, where we also have a full length blog on this exact topic for you to check out yourself for further detail. Thank you so much for taking the time to learn today. I really hope you have a good one.